1953 Origin of Life experiment by Stanley Miller. As biologist Jonathan Wells explained to me, Miller's experiment has now been thoroughly discredited. Stanley Miller put together a glass apparatus and in that apparatus he put a mixture of gases that people at the time thought reflected the atmosphere of the early Earth. And those gases were methane, ammonia, hydrogen, and water vapor. But then the professional opinion of what was there on the early Earth changed. In the 60s, geochemists uh, revised their hypothesis and decided that the hydrogen, being very light, would have escaped into outer space. The Earth's gravity isn't strong enough to hold it. And probably the early Earth's atmosphere then consisted of what we now see coming out of volcanoes today, namely carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and water vapor. Well, if the early Earth's atmosphere consisted of those gases, then Stanley Miller's experiment would not work. In fact, he himself tried it with those gases, and he found that uh, he couldn't produce any amino acids at all. So the experiment falls apart once you use a more realistic mixture of gases in the apparatus. God doesn't even exist, for goodness sake. Hello. Hello. Could all be wrong about the flying spaghetti monster and the pink unicorn and the flying teapot? God doesn't even exist. Fish turned into reptiles, and reptiles turned into man. What if you're wrong about the great juju at the bottom of the sea? I treat God as the same as fairies and unicorns. I do not share your beliefs, and I think you are hallucinating. I don't think you can disprove God. The human mind is extremely susceptible to hallucination. I think I became an atheist properly at the age of about 16 or 15. And what was it? I suppose it was really understanding Darwin. God doesn't even exist. 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 I can't disprove God.